Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily stocks signals video for Monday, the 30th of July, where I just take one of the potential signals from our scanner membership service and set it up uh, on a chart. So very briefly in our members area, members get the opportunity to download spreadsheets for potential long fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frame and then similarly short fifth wave trades on those same time frames and also stochastic longs and shorts on intraday time frames. We're going to look at longs today uh, and a shorter time frame, the 60 minute. So when the members go into the long fifth wave trade section, you can see for today for the 30th of July and the previous days, just click on the image and download the spreadsheet. Today's spreadsheet looks something like this. Uh, this is for the 60 minute. These are potential long fifth wave trades on the 60 minute with basic data filters that we've put in there and we'll go through those on the chart as well now. I've chosen Macy's uh, pre be mainly because I've just got out a longer term swing on the daily time frame that and take some profit. Uh, and the, the last two days pullback hopefully seems to have found support and we could see the retail um, sector have a bit of a bounce this week and uh, so we're looking for another long on Macy's. So this is the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Ninja Trader NT8 platform. We also we do produce uh, the same indicator suite from wave5trade.com for multi charts, trade station and think or swim. I've just zoomed out a little bit on this 60 minute time frame for Macy's at the moment to show you the top of the previous intraday trend and then the low here where we've isolated the wave count and then we've had the one two three four automatically placed on there by our, by our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. So let's talk about these basic filters that gives us the, uh, the scanner results to give us a starting point for potential long fifth wave trades. A lot of it is down to do with how this fourth wave has behaved and it's pulled back against the main trend. So the main intraday trend at the moment is bullish. Uh, with last two days, Thursday and Friday on the 60 minute time frame, we've pulled back on this wave four. The wave four's found support in the green zone of our probability zones, part of our software, and that's give us, uh, that gives us an 85% probability. It's gonna go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in blue around about 41 54 something like that into that target zone there the second filter on the scanners is that the 535 oscillator is pulled back between 19 140 percent as you can see here very good and then the stochastic has also pulled back against the main trend you see the yellow dots at the top of the stochastic there that means we have a strong bullish momentum and the stochastics pulled back against that strong bullish momentum crossed over and wants to return to that main bullish trend. So setting this up is reasonably easy. Uh, we have the 6-4 moving average high on our indicator suite here and this is used for the initial start point of our entries. So you can be a little bit more aggressive with Macy's for example and enter coming out here in the first hour of the session around about 39.74. But I've got this doji here in the, during the wave 4 which was an attempt previously to move higher but it failed. So we need to be above the high of there and also above the whole $40 mark. Uh, so 40.02 is my entry. The stop loss is just below the wave 4, around about 39.18. And that still gives us, with that very conservative entry, a 1 to 1.6, even probably 1.7 into our target zone. So a great risk reward while still remaining conservative to make sure we're over this little speed bump here. So that's it for today. Very, very simple from our stock scanner membership. Um, setting up a potential long trade on the 60 minute time frame for Macy's. So have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.